Hi, I'm Patrick, and I'm a product specialist here at Vivantio. Today, we'll be discussing the various methods on how to create a ticket within our platform. So there's three main ways to create a ticket. Um, the first being the manual method. The technician can input a ticket manually, um, make use of automated email to ticket functionality, or submit a ticket through a self-service portal. Upon opening the ticket creation screen, a technician can start typing the name of the individual making the request. Vivantio will suggest contact based on the name the user inputs, and once the contact is selected, the remaining contact fields will automatically populate. Typically, our customers will choose to sync Vivantio with Active Directory for internal support or CRM for external support. Technicians may either select a ticket template, which will auto-populate the remaining fields on the form, or the technician can enter information in manually. This may include, but is not limited to, the ticket title, a brief description of the ticket, the ticket category, which will be pulled from a list of categories and subcategories, which can be configured during implementation. A technician also has the option to kick off a workflow directly from the ticket creation screen, the priority ticket assignment, ticket can be assigned to a group of people, such as the help desk or just a, a specific technician, the impact, the status. Technicians may even choose to add an attachment to the ticket as they're creating it. The Vivantio Insights tab will make recommendations to the technicians inputting the ticket, such as similar tickets that are open within the system, other tickets opened by the contact or the end user, tickets associated with the same asset, or even knowledge base articles which may help the technician resolve the query. When the ticket is created, the platform assigns it a unique ticket ID number, which is how both the technician and the end user can track the ticket throughout its lifecycle. The second way to create a ticket within Vivantio is via email. Uh, within Vivantio, you can set up one or multiple different inboxes, and anytime someone sends an email to that particular address, our system is going to grab it and automatically convert it into a ticket. The subject line of the email will become the title of the ticket, the body of the email will become the body of the ticket, and any attachments to the email will automatically be attached to the ticket within Vivantio. There's also automation that can be applied to the email to ticket functionality. For example, Vivantio can recognize the location an email is coming in from and route the ticket to a specific technician or group of technicians based on that location. With Vivantio ITSM, the system can even identify keywords in the subject line of the email and route the ticket to a specific technician based on keyword. The final method of creating a ticket within Vivantio is via self-service portal. Vivantio's self-service portals are completely customizable. Depending on a company's preference, the self-service portal can be set up to mimic the look and feel of the company's website. Alternatively, the portal can be simplified entirely so the end user can log in and create a new request directly from the home page. Technicians will have the option to set up single sign-on for end users accessing the self-service portal so end users will automatically be logged in based on the credentials saved in their web browser. There are many ways to configure the self-service portal. It can be set up so the end user first selects a ticket category and then fills out a form in order to submit the request. The fields an end user fills out are configurable and can include custom fields, and you can make any of these fields mandatory, so the end user will not be able to create the request unless specific information is volunteered. Mandatory fields will be highlighted in red, as you can see here. Others may prompt end users to view self-help articles in the knowledge base prior to allowing them to create a ticket. This is simply a matter of preference and will depend on how tech-savvy your end user base is. Articles can be linked to keywords as well as ticket categories, making it easy for the end user to locate within the self-service portal. Creating a ticket in Vivantio is simple. You just manually open a ticket, create one via email, or utilize the self-service portal. Our platform also allows you to track service requests throughout their lifecycle. To learn more about our product, check out our online resources library.